Hello all, I did my hair today. I wanted to show it to you because I'm just gonna put it right back up. <laughs> I always have good intentions when I do it curly of leaving it down. And then when I go to put the mask on the first time, I it gets too hot automatically. We are in a car. I've got more than Jason's shoulder right now. But um, we have errands to run. The kids are in school. This is our usual Friday activities. And you can only see half my face right now. We're going to the cobbler, which we haven't done in a really long time. We have a cobbler that fixes our customers' shoes every once in a while. And we just haven't done this for a long time. So he's going to go drop off a shoe to get fixed. Yep. Anyway, we just wanted to like see how you guys were doing and enjoying the holidays. And I just got off the phone with my mom and we are gonna do a family Christmas Zoom party. <laughs> and, well it's not Zoom. I say Zoom because it's like your universal virtual call. I, we use, um, I don't even know which one we use now. Anyway, some, some platform that we get on a virtual call with my family. And she was joking because she was like, okay, I'm gonna put you guys, you and Jason down for a solo. You guys are gonna sing a solo. <laughs> I was like, that ain't gonna happen. She's like, come on, will you sing Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer? And I was like, that's what's gonna happen if you make J if you make Jason and I sing a song. And she was like, oh, I'm so hurt. I'm like, mom, this is gonna come out before Christmas. We're not singing a solo. It's not gonna happen. Jason does not sing. He he just does not sing. So anyway, that was kind of funny and it'll be fun to have the cousins. Usually when we're on our family calls for church, we some of the kids kind of show up in the backgrounds, but you know, our kids don't stick around for very long and it's more of an adult conversation anyway. So it'll be fun to have the kids. I have, there's 24, 23 grandkids on my side of the family and one more we just added one more that is expecting um i'm gonna say she announced it to the world but i don't know if she wants to say it here on camera so <laughs> she doesn't like being on camera or even like mentioned in my videos so I will just say that and we're gonna head off and run our errands we are going to costco getting more than usual at costco but not a terribly exciting haul so probably need to oh it's gonna be exciting don't understand your shoulder it, is so exciting don't, uh, well i know that man the ladies how exciting is costco gonna be today honey oh it is exciting did i even bring my list i did soap is about the only unusual thing on our list today i'm kind of surprised at how yeah. few people there are at costco lately yeah over the past like after Thanksgiving, like half the parking off. lot is like completely empty. And maybe we're just the only ones who are. <laughs> well, I went there after work one day. You know, oh. Supplies. <laughs> and and uh, pumpkin pie. And, and uh, pumpkin pie. Oh, why is she pointing? What is pointing? that lady doing? Why was she. Okay, I, I think she was she just did. pointing. She was totally wagging her finger at us. And I think she was just talking to her husband. It just happened to be that we pulled in front of her. her at me. Anyway, you went over to Costco after work. It was after work and it was like total, it was like half full parking lot and stuff. And it's unusual. Usually Costco is like waiting outside. I oh, can't see him anymore. Um, waiting outside and stuff. So I was just kind of surprised. And then we've gone in the afternoon gone in the morning I mean it's yeah I don't know everyone's I mean, got their stuff and they're hanging tight I guess yeah and it's Friday morning usually it's busier on Friday we usually try and go on Thursdays instead but yeah I think people have kind of stocked up there's actually toilet paper in stock now so I think kind of the Russian butts taken care of go over there okay are you like the old lady wagging her finger at me now Well, it's now hours later and the kids are done with school. Hey, Chelsea. Tell them what, um, we drew names for Christmas, right? Oh, yeah, I got <coughs> Who do you give to? Kaylee. Okay, and then who do you give to, Ash? Chelsea. She's so confusing. I don't know what to get. You don't know what to get, Kaylee? Yeah. It's easy. Don't it. I already Anything cozy. I'm getting, I know. She has some cozy wise. Cozy wise? A lot of snacks. Yes. Snacks would be... You could spend your entire budget on snacks, snacks. and she would probably be happy. She never goes out. 
actually. No, she does. Okay, are you guys going out to play? Zip up. That is not a thick shirt underneath. Ashley, don't put your mask Ashley. on until you get to the park with your friends. Take a break from wearing it. It's cold though. Oh, okay. How about you wear a hat? Do you want a hat on? No, that's when you get gloves. Okay. We're in our closet. We're going to have to go through the that's closet again. Oh, it's Play Doh. That is so random. Why are there gloves in there? All right, well, we're going to have to go through this closet and try and find winter gear. Take those gloves, they'll work. Or here, look through this one. Is that just boots? There's gloves down at the bottom, though. See down there? There's a pair of pink pair right down there at the bottom. You found some. Perfect for your size. And also they clip. They clip. I have the black. You made it out alive. Make sure those fit. Put them on your hands. Shut the door, Kaylee. Make sure these fit. You guys were freezing yesterday, but you refused to come in. So, <laughs> meanwhile, Dad found the floor. We knew he would fall, find a place on the floor when he was helping you with your homework, right? Well, I can't even see you. <laughs> okay, those fit. Yeah. Is that going to be nicer to be outside with those on? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can pull up the strings that are hanging down so low. Okay, have fun. Okay. Bye. You're lining up your chakra? Yeah, I'm lining my chakra. Let's yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <dude. laughs> this is what moms get to do to line their chakra. They get to do laundry. Day in and day out. How blessed are you? I'm so blessed. Kaylee, mm -hmm. this is literally all your laundry. Yep. She put a load in herself this morning at 8 o'clock. Started my day off. Uh, let's see if I have more laundry to do. I started the day with laundry and then my mom called. And then we rushed to Costco. So I'm a little behind on laundry. And this is as exciting as it gets for me. I've got towels that are still, were still drying. I have more whites up top. And then I have laundry in here. So and then also I found out that Costco's... <laughs> Dove soap was less than a dollar a bar, and I usually get it at the dollar store because the grocery stores have it for more than a dollar a bar. But I think they were like even like 75 cents a bar when you took into account the rebate that they had on the pack. So we'll just chat while I get some towels out here. I took off my cute shirt because I got kind of cold. I got hot, and I opened the window up in my front office, and then I got cold. That's fine. I'd rather be cold than hot any day. We need to run some more errands today. We need to, I realize there's something that we can get Chelsea at Office Depot. So Jason needs some supplies for work, so we were gonna go do that. I'm just editing videos. Actually, I wanna say that I'm editing videos right now, but that's what I was supposed to be doing this whole time. It's like four o'clock. It's been a long time since we picked up the camera, but then I started finding rentals for, car rentals for our trip next year <laughs> next year like I'm not even gonna book the car rental because I really still don't trust that we can travel even though the trip is already booked I'm not gonna put money into a car rental yet I still wanted to look and see what company we were gonna go with when we know for sure that we're gonna book a car we literally probably won't book it until we're going to Maui for those that are new we have actually have a new a few new subscribers but we have rebooked our trip to Hawaii it's a whole thing so don't think we're crazy for planning a trip during a pandemic kind of had to at some point because we were gonna lose all of our money I'm actually not going to rent the car and book it until we get a negative COVID test because that's what you have to have in order to fly to Hawaii right now assuming it's gonna be the case in two months probably not going to even book our car until we know for sure we can get into Hawaii because like why would I spend hundreds of dollars for a car rental if I don't think we can go so it's the only thing we have left to book <laughs> I need to do something different than just laundry this is just it's so boring yesterday I was so bored and so down on my like not on myself but just like bored and frustrated and I guess that's maybe where I'm at today so I was just looking at cars for Hawaii I watched this guy on YouTube, Eric West, with Hawaii Real Estate, Maui Real Estate .org, I think is what his YouTube channel is and website. He sells real estate. 
and he goes live like three times a day in Maui. He lives there and he sells real estate and whatnot. But he's, you know, showing the effects of this pandemic there and the reopening of Hawaii and all that kind of stuff. And I literally like live vicariously through his live videos. <laughs> he does like sunrises on the West Maui Mountains and then he'll show all the restaurants that are opened up or the hotels that are opened up and then he'll do a, a live sunset at on Apali Beach and I just sit there and he's live and so there's no music there's no like you know jazz to the videos so I usually turn on my own Hawaiian music and I watch his videos <laughs> and I lay in bed and dream of a beach I dream of beaches and warmth and something that is not pandemic something that is not pandemic and election and politics and stress and being stuck at home and that's what i dream about it's just some sense of and i know it's not normal don't don't get me wrong it's not normal to go to hawaii i understand that's a privilege you know my daughter was actually called privileged yesterday by a child who's more pr privileged than her which i thought was kind of ironic I know we're privileged in the blessings that we have right now. You know, I had a frustrating day on Thanksgiving and I'm responding to a lot of your comments today when I and I really appreciate them. Because you do kind of, kind of have to get yourself in check when you have like a hard day. Because it's like, dude, you have a house over your head, you have blessings, you have food to eat and family to love and that support you. And I know that it's, I know that we're pri privileged. I, I know that and I shouldn't complain. I just, I think whether we all have the ability to check out and do something fun after all this is over or not, we do have the ability to go and do something fun. And I just can't wait. I really honestly cannot wait to be able to go and do something normal. And for us, it's normal to travel and to be together as a family. Cause it's honestly the only time my teenagers come out is when we travel and do stuff together. So I need it. I need it desperately. And every day we ask Alexa, how many days until we go to Maui? <laughs> Oh. How many days? We just got off the phone with Kaylee's doctor, the one she saw a week ago, maybe, I don't know, I think it was like a week ago, two weeks ago, about her wrist. And we thought that we would have a gradual improvement on her, sorry, a gradual improvement with her wrist and be able to update the doctor over the phone without having to go in and COVID and all that kind of stuff. But Kaylee has had more pain in the past two weeks than she did the two weeks before we went to see the second doctor. <laughs> so the doctor is like, that's not a good thing. That's not what we were expecting to hear from you. I did yesterday. Jason's quite proud of my work that I did on this. So she's gonna go get another x-ray next week and have it re-looked at, come up with maybe another plan, physical therapy. I, we don't know. The one, the one thing I've learned is Doctors don't really know how to read x-rays. You have to see a specialist. This yes. This has happened multiple times with doctors. They well, but she didn't. Really, she didn't. She her. looked at her. She looked at the x-ray and she could see the fracture. But she did that at that point two weeks ago. She didn't want to have. She didn't want an x-ray again. Yeah. At that point. Because at that point we were starting to recover. Kaylee Either was. Either way, doctors are not as good at reading x-rays. Right. Lots of them don't know how to read them. Just so that's why that. we've gone to a specialist outside of urgent care because we're going to get another x-ray by her, which is now at that point will be eight to nine weeks post injury. And she's like, even if it had, been, I mean, it was a fracture, but she said all said and done, that fracture should have been healed at nine weeks. At her age, it should heal yeah. fast. So she's like, we need to x-ray again, figure out what's going on, especially this long into it. So we'll see what happens next week. But Jason and I are gonna go do a little Christmas shopping at an office store. <laughs> I wonder what we will get. What could you get for a Christmas present at an office store? It's 2020, folks. Anything is possible <laughs> at an office store. Okay, really random day. We're back at home. We got one um, non-gift for Chelsea. We got headphones for her. She needed them. But we did not find the gift that we were looking for at Home Depot or at Office Depot. So I'm gonna have to order that one on Amazon. We really wanted to like, you know, try and support local, but we didn't find what we wanted. So right now we're gonna sit down and watch Mulan on Disney Plus. We've been waiting for it to show up on Disney Plus till today, because I refuse to play for the Disney Plus Plus. Gotta pay for it. So I've been waiting for today. And we're gonna sit down. Well, Abby, are you gonna watch it with us or are you gonna watch it tomorrow? No, no. I'm not watching it tonight. Okay. 
So it's just the four of us watching Mulan, and we're gonna end our video tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Good night.